Nestled in the heart of the spectacular west coast of Florida, there's a place like no place else on earth, full of adventure and excitement, woven around the beauty and wonder of nature. A place called Bush Gardens Tampa, where you'll feel as if you're on safari to another land. Fashion around turn of the century Africa, Bush Gardens Tampa is many places in one. It's a unique combination of wildlife and wild times where having fun has hundreds of different faces. No place else is there such an unusual array of family fun. The park is full of adventures for all ages and there's no lack of things to do and learn for young and old alike. This guy's only about two years old. And he, he... He might look kind of small for two years, but he's still kind of grown fast. Only here can you enjoy dazzling entertainment, get the thrill of your life on the exciting rides, and be face to face with some of the most fascinating creatures on Earth. With so many adventures all in one place, it's no surprise that millions of people make Bush Gardens Tampa a number one vacation stop each year. When Bush Gardens first opened in 1959, the 16-acre park was devoted entirely to birds and flowering plants. Lush landscaping surrounded a large domed aviary that housed birds from all over the world, and visitors could tour the Anheuser-Busch Brewery located on the grounds. Soon after opening, a live bird show was added for park guests. Then, as now, the Bush Gardens Bird Show was designed to introduce guests to the wonders of our feathered friends and to encourage their preservation. This entertaining show began the commitment that Anheuser-Busch still holds today, a dedication to the conservation and preservation of all wildlife and continuing education toward that goal. Anheuser-Busch has a long-standing commitment to the environment, a quality environment. We want people to see animals, to understand animals, to thrill at the awe of each and every animal. There's something unique and something special about each animal, and you only really capture that when you see the live animal. Having experienced this, we then hope people will do what they can in their own lives to uh, maintain the very, very special diversity that makes up our planet today. Since those early days, Bush Gardens Tampa has grown from the original 16 acres of tropical landscape to a 300-acre African theme park. Visitors can enjoy world-class zoological habitats with rides, exotic African crafts and art, and live entertainment, all ingeniously woven together. The original part of the park is known as the Bird Gardens today. The area still focuses on a spectacular array of birds, but in recent years, the birds have been joined by several other species. Perhaps the most extraordinary residents have been two rare giant pandas. A custom home was designed for these most honored guests, completely climate controlled with a running stream and plenty of the giant panda's favorite food, bamboo. Ambassadors for conservation worldwide the giant pandas have helped bush gardens continue to deliver that all-important message. Conserve and preserve all of our precious natural resources. The bird gardens is also home to a group of Queensland koalas, here on an extended breeding loan from the San Diego Zoo. The future is uncertain for these lovable fuzzy marsupials. 
Dining exclusively on eucalyptus, the koala is also threatened by habitat destruction in its native Australia, as eucalyptus forests continue to be destroyed. Breeding programs like those at Bush Gardens Tampa are working to ensure the survival of the species. Today's World of Bird show is still one of the most popular stops in the park. The show features a variety of birds, including many birds of prey, called raptors, and provides information on how these birds live and survive. Guests have the chance to see these beautiful creatures up close and will hopefully leave with a desire to help to preserve and protect them. The original Anheuser-Busch commitment to the preservation of birds quickly grew to include all species. And because of the similarity in climate and landscape, Busch Gardens Tampa focused on African animals and took on an African theme. Recognized as one of North America's premier zoos, Busch Gardens Tampa is home to more than 3,400 mammals, reptiles, and birds. Many of the animals that call the African theme park home are here because their native homelands can no longer support them. Habitat destruction worldwide has seriously diminished many of the wild places that once existed. And natural habitats like those at Bush Gardens provide a safe haven for some of the world's endangered animals. The creation of um, hab natural habitats in zoos, number one, give animals more room in which to do what they normally do. And that, that's very important because what we try to do here is to really set up proper breeding programs whereby animals can reproduce themselves. And uh, all of that takes uh, specialized care and specialized design for the various species. Mayambi Reserve, the great ape domain, is home to two of the world's most fascinating and endangered species, common chimpanzees and western lowland gorillas, two members of the great ape family. Designed to replicate the native homeland of these great apes, Mayambi Reserve, the great ape domain, is three acres of multi-level terrain covered in lush tropical vegetation designed for the enjoyment of the residents. We had two goals in creating Mayambi Reserve. The first was to give the animals a very comfortable place to live, and the second was to create an environment much like a guest would find in Africa. We wanted them to experience that environment and see how fragile and special it is. Wide glass walls give the visitor to Miami Reserve a close-up view of these extraordinary primates, and conservation information is readily available about the animals and the environment. Now, a female chimpanzee can range between 135 to 140 pounds, with the males just a little bit larger. Spread out over 300 acres, the park is indeed a showcase of nature. It's a delightful mixture of superb design, with zoological habitats carefully woven into and around all the other exciting adventures that await you on this African safari. There's a lot to see and do, but it's easy to get the lay of the land. You have your choice over, around, or through it all. The open air sky ride gives you a bird's eye overview, while an authentic Transvelt steam engine train will carry you on a leisurely trip around the entire park. And the best way to see the expansive 80-acre Serengeti Plain is in the sleek Bush Gardens monorail that carries you past herds of African animals on one of the largest natural habitats in any zoo. You'll glide past endangered black rhinos, threatened grevy zebras, majestic reticulated giraffes. The Serengeti Plains is a very special place for these animals. Uh, they're allowed to roam and uh, do as they please what they would do in uh, Africa, in the wilds of Africa. It's, it's their home. This is their Africa. Chris Allen is one of the zookeepers who looks after more than 500 herd animals and birds that live on the Serengeti Plain at Bush Gardens, Tampa. Using a hands-off approach designed to encourage the animal's natural behavior, his job requires an attentive eye and a good memory. Routine feedings are really not routine at all. 
They provide an opportunity to keep tabs on the health of the animals. You know, Bobby, we need to keep an eye on Grandma. Uh, looks like she's pregnant again. Most of the animals on the Serengeti Plain eat grain and hay. But for the rest of the zoo's inhabitants, Louis Barroso is a most important man. He manages the zoo kitchen and has the massive job of preparing over 500 different diets every day. As a dietitian, Louis makes sure that each of the park's residents is receiving the best diet suited to their particular needs and tastes. And while the food prepared could be for us, some of the animals' favorite ingredients might not be our favorite choices. Top it off with mealworms. Both the Serengeti Plain and Myambi Reserve, the great ape domain, are excellent examples of the new breed of zoological habitats. Living areas are designed for the natural well-being of their residents. The animals roam about at will, and guests are invited to share in the experience from close but separate areas. It's probably a complete reversal from what it used to be. Um, there's more emphasis on what the animal needs than what people want to see. White Bengal tigers are the rarest members of the dwindling Bengal tiger population. Yellow Bengal tigers' native range has been reduced to only India. And these majestic felines are officially listed as endangered. Claw Island, home of Bush Gardens Bengal tigers, has also been designed with the enjoyment of the residents in mind. Tall grass, low shade trees, and a big pool to dip in on hot summer days give these big cats a comfortable and safe place to call their own. Bath time at the elephant wash is a delightful way for guests to learn about one of nature's most impressive creatures. Seven times daily, the park's Asian elephants are treated to an all-over wash, where guests and elephants alike can enjoy the fun. Asian elephants are in serious danger of becoming extinct. The threats are the same, habitat destruction and poaching. With these forces against them, it gets harder every day for these magnificent animals to lead normal lives in their native lands. And as with other endangered animals, breeding in a managed situation may be the only hope for their ultimate survival as a species. Bush Gardens Asian Elephant Breeding Program is recognized worldwide for 11 births since 1987, and a dedicated man named Roman Schmidt is part of the reason. Bush Gardens and myself are very committed to uh, uh, saving the Asian elephant from extinction. It is very grim in the wild due to population growth and the deforestation of their habitat. So we here at Bush Gardens are dedicated to breeding and preserving the Asian elephant. For more than 20 years, Roman has dedicated his career to the preservation of the Asian elephant. I can't think of anything else I would rather do. Located near the elephant wash, you'll find one of Bush Gardens' four question and answer carts. These rolling mini classrooms are located in different areas of the park, attended by zoo educators ready to answer even the most curious of questions. <laughs> Conservation education is a key goal of Anheuser-Busch, so important, in fact, that there is an entire staff dedicated to just that purpose. It is important for each of us to realize how fragile nature is and what we can do to preserve and protect it for generations to come. Programs are offered year-round for groups of all ages, and during the summer months, Bush Gardens offers Zoo Camp, a series of week-long programs for school-aged children. Do they have good eyesight because they have big eyes? Like these zoo campers, almost everyone admires the stately giraffe. But this particular herd of reticulated giraffes has a special story. Bush Gardens personnel back in 1984 participated in the uh, capture of these animals on the plains of Kenya. 
The purpose that the animals were allowed to leave Kenya was because they were knocking down fences, they were feeding on crops, and they were competing with, with human requirements. They would have probably been allowed to be culled, allowed culling, which means killing. This field trip from Kenya in 1984 was a new beginning for that group of 17 young, healthy, reticulated giraffes. The herd quickly became comfortable in their new home on Bush Garden Serengeti Plain, and they have been successfully producing offspring since 1988. Babies are an important part of the park's conservation work, and most are born with no problems. But when something does go awry in nature, the Bush Garden's animal nursery is fully equipped with everything necessary to provide special care and to nurse sick or injured infants back to health. Fashioned after an African field hospital, the Nairobi nursery has windows all around so visitors can see everything that goes on inside. From baby birds to baby giraffes, these surrogate parents provide the extra TLC that's so much a part of nursery care. It's great. Yeah, there's no other word to describe it because what you're doing is you're helping some of these baby animals survive and giving them a second chance. And many of these animals are very important to the survival of their species. Uh, we have a number of breeding programs here at Bush Gardens for endangered species. And every single animal that comes into the nursery has a special place somewhere in its life here. So we want to make sure to give it a good start. Dr. John Olson heads the team of four veterinarians that look after the health of the park's more than 3,400 residents. In the same day, we may work on uh, a giraffe in the morning, a bird in the, at noon, and the snakes or koalas in the afternoon. So we have a, quite a breadth of species that we get to uh, work with. From physical checkups to critical care, these special doctors are on call 24 hours a day, seven days a week to ensure the health and well-being of their patients. Don't forget to save time to visit the world-famous Anheuser-Busch Clydesdales. The Clydesdale Hamlet is located in the Crown Colony area of the park, and guests can enjoy these majestic horses from several different viewing areas. Fascinating animals are only one part of the Bush Gardens experience. Woven in and around the park's zoological habitats, you'll find a world of other adventures. African artisans, exotic gift shops, exciting rides, and impressive array of live entertainment. From one to the next, all inviting you to explore. Live entertainment is in abundance at Busch Gardens Tampa. From the high-stepping mystic sheiks of Morocco to a wide variety of lavishly costumed stage shows, there's certain to be a performance to suit everyone's taste. And with a number of strolling performers in the park, showtime could be right around the next corner. Busch Gardens Entertainment Department is truly an extraordinary showcase of talent. Performers from throughout the world regularly audition to join this impressive group. We are like a family. We work together, uh, we laugh together, we cry together. And we produce shows that are of the highest quality because we give a little bit of ourselves in every single one of these shows. And that's from the dressers, to the technicians, to the singers and the dancers, to the directors, to the whole management team. It's easy to find live entertainment just about any time during the day at many places throughout the park. The Moroccan Palace is the setting for the park's most spectacular stage show, with the Marrakesh Theater, an open-air pavilion hosting the park's musicals. Stanleyville Theater host a variety of world-class performers in an ever-changing showcase of talent. And the Zambezi Theater is the stage for improvisational fun where members of the audience become part of the show. Hold on to everything. Those are certainly words of wisdom for brave riders of the mighty Kumba the largest and fastest steel roller coaster in the southeastern United States. 
This fantastic roller coaster is the crowning glory to an impressive list of exciting thrill rides at Busch Gardens Tampa. Comba thrills riders with three roller coaster firsts, a 108-foot high vertical loop, a 110-foot diving loop, and a 360-degree spiraling camelback. At speeds greater than 60 miles per hour, riders are turned upside down seven times and experience three seconds of weightlessness before conquering the mighty beast. on all over the place and this is this is the best it's the best i want to get in line again even non-riders can experience the excitement of the beast on guest walkways that pass under and over portions of the ride it's just smooth the transitions i came off disoriented even and it's just it's just so smooth velvety smooth going on it again today oh as soon as i can i'm i'm shaky even and i've ridden i've ridden lots of coasters the mighty Kumba completes a trio of roller coasters in the park, along with the Python and the Scorpion. Don't miss the chance to experience three different coasters all in one day. And if roller coasters aren't your cup of tea, there are lots of other rides to choose from. In fact, the park has over 25 rides in all, of all different varieties for kids of all ages. And the last one was the Questra. I've never been on anything like that. That was fascinating. Yeah. That was a <laughs> great time. We yeah. did. It was very nice. I just love Bush Gardens. Questor is Bush Gardens' first simulator attraction, and it takes passengers on a fantasy mission with an eccentric turn of the century inventor. With this exciting new technology, Questor makes a movie full of harrowing adventures come alive for anyone brave enough to venture on board. Water rides, anyone? How about an exhilarating drop into a huge splash? Then the tidal wave was made for you. Your boat glides through an abandoned African village past crocodiles and endangered black rhinos until it's too late to escape the waterfall drop ahead. And you join the ranks of the tidal wave survivors. Wet, dry, fast, slow. The choices go on and on. All over the park, you may find that once you get going, you may never want to stop. No day at Bush Gardens is complete without pausing to browse in one of the many exotic gift shops throughout the park. From souvenirs and safari clothes to authentic African art and crafts, shopping here becomes an adventure all its own. It's especially rewarding to watch one of the African artisans at work, painstakingly creating an original piece of art. Most of the crafts and art available are authentically African, being either made in Africa or by African craftsmen working at Bush Gardens, Tampa. Well, this kind of art mostly is done by only one tribe in Kenya. And it's not even one tribe. It's just a, from one location. And for my family, I'm only one that has it. Extinction is forever is an original keynote phrase around here. You'll find it emblazoned on many items in our gift shops. This is just another way of restating that all important idea. If we don't save our wildlife and natural resources now, tomorrow will be too late. Once an animal or plant is extinct, it's gone forever. 
High and low, from a distance and up close too, we've looked at so many of the sights and sounds of Bush Gardens Tampa. And while we've seen a lot, there will always be something else enticing you to stay a little longer and take another look. So many adventures all in one place. So many experiences waiting to be explored. Bush Gardens Tampa, like no place else on earth.